Hello and welcome to, um, you know, <laughs> previously I reviewed a bootleg of the Black series of uh, A White Prototype Boba Fett and um, you know, it was good. Uh, it was um, almost identical to the actual thing. If anything, some people actually come online saying, hey, it is identical, pretty much just slightly cheaper, um, almost the same price. So. It's, it's a point that I might as well get the real thing unless it's like a special edition like the prototype Boba Fett, you know. But um, today <coughs> I was walking through the shops and there was another bootleg company that decided to do Black Series. Or at least a bootleg of it uh, and uh, it was way cheaper, it was 30 Hong Kong dollars, I got mine for 25. A lot, lot cheaper. Uh, 25 Hong Kong dollars instead of the usual 200 uh, Hong Kong dollars that uh, Black Series, at least the new ones would go for. And um, there were a few other ones there, there was like Stormtroopers, Clone Troopers, and they all look like just cheaper versions, less, uh, slightly less articulation, same size, um, not, not, not as painted nicely. But then there was Yoda, uh, which, which is what we're here for today, and I'm not sure what title I should give this video. Creepy Yoda, Scary Yoda, Weird Yoda, Odd Yoda, but um, you know, I'm going through all this, talking about it, and I haven't even seen the thing yet. Um, uh, because, um, well, might as well, um, there are the box says Star Wars Episode VII, so Episode 7, and then there's a light up feature, although these bootleg things do, you know, you push the middle of the body and you get lights, somehow. Uh, the Clone Troopers just had a little blink light, a little red LED on their chest, very standard bootleg -y stuff. You probably see them on other YouTubers, like, um, famous YouTubers, like Ashens, we view a lot of these light up figures. Um, he mocks them a lot, and or, or Phalus, uh, bootleg zone. You know he's done some of them, but um, all the boxes here are the same for all of them. And the bottom says the new row. On the back here, on the back of the box, it says the Force Awakens. No capitals. The Force Awakens is set approximately 30 years after the events of Return of the Jedi. And but the and the A is on the on the, on the first line, and then Enter N D. So N D is at the second line. And features three new leads alongside characters returning from previous Star Wars. So, kind of bad English, bad space, everything. Uh, I mean, the back of the box is fine, you know. It's just bad English aside, you know. Instead of Hasbro, it's just classic. Um, every single box has the same back, and um, all of them will have a Darth Vader logo on the top. Um, the front actually has silver Star Wars, and the top is just white, but. Um, well, yeah, you, you want to see the toys, so are you ready? <coughs> Three, two, yeah, that's Yoda. <laughs> uh, I had to pick him up. Uh, you can see why it's um. <clears throat> so the box is nice, you know. Um, he has a light feature. You know, it's a little hole in plastic there. Got a transparent cane, transparent snake, and kind of Yoda head and. He's been doing some exercise apparently. He's a lot slimmer, a lot taller. Um, let's just do the light up thing. Whoop, there it is, green head Yoda. So I, uh, tape there was originally there. Cardboard back. Well, he's all printed and stuff. If you need a spare box, hey. Um, yep, yeah, some tape stopping these transparent bits falling out. Let's get the cane. You know, this cane right here. Ah, it's very soft, rubbery plastic. Green cane. I'm sure we should actually hold it. And uh, a snake. Uh, reminiscent of the old Yoda toys that had a snake. Again, it's a softish plastic. It's molded okay. But my, oh my, look at this Yoda, look at that head. Judge me by my freakiness, do you? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh boy. Um, the battery is actually slightly misaligned. I had to take him apart and put him back together again. He's got this really crappy cloth material that's just tied to him with a transparent rubber band. Uh, let's put that snake on him, so he's like one of that wrestler with the photo of the snake. Let's, let's get his cane. Um, I mean, overall he's solid, you know, he's not falling apart or anything. He's just got, just Yoda's apparently transparent. Um, 
he's gone forced ghost on us and um yeah um Mitch has articulation down there his, his legs were tight so that's kind of cool <sighs> well let's turn that light off and then we're gonna have ooh, oh my god you still see his eyes that's creepy Um, so yeah, what a, I had to pick him up for 30 and or 25 Hong Kong dollars because that's fun I guess and um, I'm just gonna get this rubber band off so you can see his body, his plastic body and his whole cloth is just falling apart, he's been in Dagobah for so long that everything's just, I mean just, this is the cloth, it's literally just, they actually bothered to cut a little square shape down there to so it won't get in the way of the of the uh the switch. It's falling apart. The rubber bands there. There's there's Yoda. I mean no he's got the uh, arm articulation, very loose arm articulation. <laughs> uh, leg everything's very loose but nothing's breaking really. His body was glued but I, I pried him open so I can reset the battery. And um and no, I, he does not really have head articulation because the LED is inside his head and the w wiring inside means that you can't turn his head too much or you snap the wires. Speaking of wires, let's just pop him open. His sleeves are transparent, by the way, as well. Let's pop him open and oh, oh, whoa, that, oh god, that went too far. Whoops. So there you go. There's uh, Yoda's, that's not the front, yeah. There's Yoda's head. Going in there. Actually, now I should put the switch back in. And, um. <laughs> he's completely fallen apart. Wow. Is that thing go back in? So there you go. There's a clear look. Basically, there's a spring on the back of the body to push the switch forward. And when you push the switch down, the metal will hit the batteries, causing it to just complete the circuit and light up. And, um,. If it's a bit loose, then they won't light up. So, um, and there you go. So, if you ever wanted a freaky f light up Yoda, then uh, there you go. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and cause, um, yeah, may the force be with you. No, I do apologize. He does have hand rotating articulation. Ooh.